Hello, this is Ryan with Fortress Grand, and today we're going to give you a quick rundown of the groups. Uh, we'll go through how to create a new group, how to populate that group, and how to set up settings just for that individual group. So as you might expect, we'll start by clicking Groups, and then Security Group Manager. Uh, that'll bring up a window. Uh, in this window on the left-hand side here, you'll see your server with all your users and groups in it. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see all your Fortress groups. So for the purpose of this demo, let's go ahead and create a new group. We'll call it, let's say, Lab 10. And let's go ahead and populate that. Will this open up any of the containers? And let's say I want Guest to be part of Lab 10. Uh, we just drag them and drop them right over and you'll see Guest shows up underneath the user list. Uh, you can drop as many users or as few users as you want in the Guest. Uh, everything will still be the same. Alternatively, you can put computers in there. So now that we have Lab 10 created and it's populated with our user, we can go ahead and close out the Security Group Manager. And let's say we want Lab 10 to be, have access to the Start menu. So what we do is, in the bottom right hand corner, we'll select Group, and we'll select our Lab 10, and then we'll bring up the Start menu property. Uh, by default, it'll come up at the All Groups Baseline Security tab. Now we want to change this because we don't want this change to apply to all groups, we just want it to apply to our Lab 10 group. So let's select Individual Group Override. We'll go ahead and override the baseline security again, so that applies just to Lab 10, and we will enable it. After we hit Enable, we go to Apply, OK, and then File and Save. And now all users in Lab 10 have access to the Start menu. This can be done for any option. So there's a quick rundown of the groups. Go ahead and keep an eye out on our YouTube page for more videos, and have a nice day.